Hi, I'm Shreya and I joined Automation Anywhere just as the document automation training camp was released. Coincidence? I think not. Now, just as a lot of the community members, I have also registered for the Skill Booster and I will be keeping up with the challenges every week. Just a bit of context about me, I have a background in electronics, software development and community management. I have some experience building AI projects, but I must admit that this is the first time that I will be trying Automation Anywhere's tools. This is my first exposure to this technology and I want to take the next few months to focus on building my expertise in it. I've been eager to dive in because I want to automate a lot of repetitive manual tasks, especially document processing. I've been looking for ways to do that. And also, I want to learn how document processing can be made smarter. As of recording this video, I've completed weeks one and two, and here's what I've learned so far. Number one, document automation does not equal OCR plus validation. Now, I was under the impression that document automation only comprised of you know, OCR processing and a little bit of data validation. But turns out that OCR and data validation are just the tip of the iceberg. Complete end-to-end -end process involves setting up an input pipeline, pre-processing this data to remove any inconsistencies, and then extracting all this data, validating it, and then setting up authorization so that you can control who has access to said documents. After I learned all of this in week one, I was curious to understand how AI could help in all of these aspects and more about that later. But now we get into the second lesson. I felt like I had to get it right from the start automatically. Well, spoiler alert, I didn't. My first instinct was to jump in and try to figure everything out. I thought, hey, I've used forms before or I've classified images before. This should be a walk in the park. But naturally, I was wrong. I remember the first thing that threw me off was setting up the classification pipeline and I was confused about how to go about the training, testing and validation process because the no code setup felt very different to writing code. But actually, automation anyway was trying to help my life become way easier, which meant that I needed to shift my approach a little bit. But once I started trusting the process, I realized that this tool is designed to let me focus on designing the bigger picture to designing the complete end-to-end -end automation cycle. And I started to really have fun with it in the next lesson. Lesson number three, the tool works with unconventionally structured data too. Unstructured data, or as I like to call it, data that colors outside of the lines, makes up most of my work. While learning about classifying documents, I personally could not relate to classifying already structured data into even more structured categories. Right? <laughs> Real life is messy. I was wondering if I would have to go on another quest to discover use cases that would fit the tool's abilities, but the designers of the skill booster have catered to these doubts already. The side quest would just have to wait for another time, I guess. I learned how unstructured data could be extracted. This lesson even featured a cameo by Generative AI. Spoiler alert. Motivated by the positive results of the sample documents, I'm currently testing this out on different types of unstructured data just to push the limits of the AI extraction tool. Out of all the videos in week one and two of the training camp, working with unstructured documents was my favorite. There's something captivating about feeding chaos into AI and watching it make sense of it and put it into structures. As a developer who's still new to automation anywhere, two weeks and counting, I'm realizing that there's a lot I do not know yet. Coming from a background where writing many lines of code to manage dependencies and configure environments prior to actually writing the real code is normalized, it's refreshing to discover how much of the setup is handled automatically here. I didn't have to worry about downloading or deploying packages or troubleshooting dependency errors because of clashing versions and whatnot. Automation email took care of all that, which meant that I could focus on the logic of the document classification process. During the classification of documents lessons, I found myself with a handful of questions. 
Did I have to download external packages? What would require licensing and what wouldn't? What exactly is a people? And I reached out to a team member and a quick conversation solved all of those problems, which made me appreciate how collaborative this whole learning process felt. And that's what I love about community. Having a supportive community makes all the difference. Another hurdle came up during the control rooms video. I spent a few minutes wondering if it was meant for my role, especially since the interface looked different to what I'd seen in the lessons. And I couldn't quite connect the dots between this and the previous structure on unstructured documents. I had assumed that things had wrapped up at data validation. Refer to lesson number one. But there is way more to the process and I'm discovering that and I'm eagerly awaiting the next few videos and the next steps in this whole document automation cycle. So in conclusion, my biggest takeaways from the first experience, don't overthink it, trust the process and ask for help. Automation Anywhere is designed for convenience and the community is always ready to help. Speaking of help, I hope this video helps encourage you to take document automation training camp. There's only two weeks left. So if you haven't already, sign up and complete the challenges and share your experience with us.